Hi, this is Carlo from Terragon.de and today we want to make a tutorial to set up um, Apache server with MySQL and PHP and we want to use the TYPO3 CMS uh, content management system to get our first home page running in a few minutes and our first dynamic, dynamic home page that will be running on our private computer. And the first thing we have to do is going to Google and look for the XAMPP installer that we will find on the apachefriends.org homepage where we can switch to the English version and um, we will see that XAMPP is available for Linux, Windows, Mac and some other systems and we want to choose the Windows XAMPP and this is running on nearly every Windows available. Um, if you want to go online with your homepage later, it's uh, good to choose Windows 2000, 2003 or another server system because um, normal Windows will block um, ingoing connections over 10, so only 10 visitors can reach your homepage at a time, so it's useful to get a server system from Windows. And what we will have inside the XAMPP package is an Apache web server, a MySQL database, PHP uh, as a programming language and the PHP MyAdmin that is quite uh, useful to admin the databases. And we have additionally a FileZilla FTP server that will allow us to upload files and download files from our system if we host our XAMPP installation on uh, on uh, computers of other hosting companies. So we have basically two types of installation. We can use the pre the, install the installer or we can just download a zip document and uh, don't need to install the zip document. It will run in this zip folder. So it's um, a bit more easy to use a zip package um, if you want to change the computer later or if you want to test the XAMPP installation on your personal computer at this time um, but are planning to put it on another computer later or upload to another hosting company we will choose the zip package. It is here 100, over a hundred megabyte in size, so it will download depending on your internet connection. And with this XAMPP package that is very useful, you have nearly everything you need to set up your home page. And um, <clears throat> it's important to say here that this XAMPP package basically has no security um, option set so the security you will be uh, you have to configure by yourself okay now we go to the typo 3 page and we'll download the typo 3 um, package that is available here in op not take not the installers because the installers have another system uh, inside another uh, Apache server and we already have the Apache server in our XAMPP installation, so we just need the introduction page of TYPO3. Um, new to the introduction page is that there is already a template inside. The source and um, dummy package uh, does not contain this, uh, this introduction layout, so we take the zip file of the introduction package because there we will have a pre-configured template um, that we can use in TYPO3. Now we are downloading the two packages and we save them on our desktop and we have the XAMPP zip package, uninstall it And in addition, we have the TYPO3 zip package, 
that we want to uninstall the same way. And later we have to combine the typo 3 package into the XAMPP package. But first um, we will look inside our XAMPP zip folder and we will see okay there is another XAMPP folder inside and not to have uh, because we don't want to have so many folders we just put it on our desktop and delete the other folder. Okay, so we have the XAMPP folder here. And inside the XAMPP folder there is there are many other subfolders that we don't uh, care about this, at this time. But the htdocs uh, folder, that is very important because inside the htdocs document uh, folder all the documents from our homepage will be placed inside. And we have the control panel of our XAMPP folder that is uh, important to start and stop all the modules, the Apache server, the MySQL database and the FTP server. Um, we can also run it as a Windows service but we just want to use our tools to run when we click on it so we don't want to activate the service. And inside the htdocs document uh, we will find a sample homepage of XAMPP that is also very useful to have a first test uh, if our XAMPP installation works properly. And the first step we have to do is to set up our XAMPP uh, system to uh, allow the service to make all the passes depending on our location of the folder because you can place this folder everywhere on your computer like you want. We have on our desktop but you could also place, this, place it on other drives. So we want to uh, start our services. We want to start the MySQL database first. We are asked by Windows to give it the permissions so we'll, you will allow it for private networking that you can use it on your computer or in your internal network and the same for the Apache server. He needs the permission too. And now we can pop up our Internet Explorer or Firefox and we can type localhost that is our localhost on our computer that we can reach and we will see okay the XAMPP package already runs on our computer. So this is our first running home page and uh, we enter the English installation tool of XAMPP and we can see on the left side what we have uh, what options we have and first thing is to check the security options where we can see that there is no, no security available at this time. So this system is not good to be an open system but only placed on your personal computer for testing. If you want to go online later with this system you need to configure all the security issues. Um, so you don't want hackers to go on your system. Okay, so now we are able to put our typo 3 package inside the htdocs document and <clears throat> for that we will have a short look at our typo 3 package. This is a typical, typical folder structure of type, typo 3 that we can just copy into a new folder inside our XAMPP that we can call uh, typo3 mm, for example test, typo3 test activate copy ok I just save the installers in our folders so that we can restore later if we get any, any trouble and now while the typo 3 is inside our XAMPP and into our, inside our HT uh, docs folders, we can just pop up our browser, go to localhost again and 
type slash typo3 test. And then we are welcomed by the typo3 installation tool. This is a four step menu that we can just uh, click continue here and start by entering the username of our MySQL installation. And like we saw before, the XAMPP uh, installation did not have any security options uh, activated. So we can just have a look in our PHP admin there at the bottom. And there was, this is in German at this time, but there is a at the bottom there is a warning that our root user has no password at this, mo at this time. So we can just type root as a username, leave the password blank and go to step 2. And we want to create a new database. We could select a database that is available already. If, we, if you want to install a new database in the PHP My Admin, you can add it here and then it will be available in this pull-down menu, but we want to create a new Typo3 test database for our system where every information that's coming from Typo3 will be stored inside this database. And we want to inter the introduction package uh, install too. That means we will have our first template that is fully, wor fully working installed with Typo3. This may take a time depending on your computer, so I will make a break in this tutorial. But it's only a few seconds, I think. Okay, he is done. And now we have to uh, make a password for our Typo3 installation and we have to enter a password here so we just to choose tutorial as a password and we can choose a background color for our first template and we will choose, choose a tarragon style blue that we want to enter. Okay. And now it has successfully been installed. We can go to our website now and we will see here. Okay, this is our introduction page layout and it's a fully working dynamic Typo3 homepage. But it has only standard content inside. So in the next tutorial we will learn how to customize this layout and create our own homepage. Until then, I wish you a good time.